Hi everybody, it's Annette with The Art of Intuition, and today we're going to talk about our dreams and why they appear so distorted. This is a question I get a lot, is why my dreams don't make any sense, or why do I have the same nightmare over and over and over again, why do they seem so messed up? So let's talk a little bit about what our dream state is doing. Number one, it's trying to clear things for us so we don't have to experience the energy of those things here. So everything you see when you're dreaming is real. It's you in an alternate reality. It's you in a different vibration experiencing all these things. So there's nothing fake about it. There's nothing that's not real about it. It's just not in this physical reality. So we don't really look at it as real because it's not real here. So you can always preference that when you're talking about a dream and say, well, it's not real here, but that happens somewhere. So when we get into clearing karmic timelines when we sleep, and you can always say that before you sleep, and then you'll really see some distorted dreams. <laughs> the minute you say that, you'll see some very distorted dreams because we're trying to clear things so we don't have to experience them here. So just because you see it doesn't mean you're weird or the dream was weird, or I should discount it, but just know you're clearing something that you don't want to have to experience here. So the more distorted it is there, the more you don't have to worry about clearing it here, in a sense. Now I'll also say that there are no closed systems, so a lot of times the energies might bleed over. So take a look, especially if it's a repeating dream, if you keep repeating something that's very distorted over and over and over again, look at the energy of the dream and try to figure out where that energy kind of starts to bleed over here. Like if you're in the middle in a dream of some big murder scene and you don't trust anybody in the scene, you could look here where you're not, you feel like that mistrust is kind of crossing over a little bit. So you can always look at that, especially if it's repeating. If it's not repeating, I would not get too bogged down on it because you're just clearing. You're clearing karmic timelines, you're clearing one of your Akashas. We have tons of Akashic records and you're clearing something. So just know you're trying to get through the distortions and they're really not anything to get too bogged down about. A lot of times we won't even remember them. If we're in a deep clearing state, you won't remember anything you dream for a while. And that's because your mind gets so into it that it's just too much. You know, if your mind could see half of the stuff, it would be just too much. And that's what's why you don't need to see it. So if you don't see it, if you don't dream, don't get too bogged down about it. But when you go to sleep at night, ask to clear. You'll find the more you clear at night, the easier waking state's gonna be because you don't have to do all that clearing while you're awake. Now, the next question about the distortions or like the nightmares, the repeating nightmares, whether you're so terrified, you keep waking yourself up. A lot of times these dreams can have to do with you were too scared to kind of get through to the next part of the dream. We don't really have nightmares. We just get too afraid to get to the next part. So if you are having nightmares and you keep seeing the same thing and you feel like you're supposed to get to the next part of it, you can try to do that when you're awake. In a sense, just kind of rest your eyes, lay down and just think about the dream and kind of see what you're trying to get to. What's the meat of the dream? And if you can't really get to it, just going inside to do it, you can always go outside and ask your universe, your little matrix, to reveal to you what it's trying to tell you. Look at songs on the radio that come on, look at license plates with words on them, look at stuff on the side of cars, anything that's kind of trying to give you the tip off of what these dreams are trying to say. Because it is trying to tell you something, especially if it's repeating. If it's repeating, it's important. And I would say that even if anything keeps repeating in your, this physical reality, the one we would call real, it's still important. Remember, there's no difference between dreaming and awake. It's all the same. We just see it differently because we're not physically experiencing some of these things here. So keep all that in mind and keep practicing the art of intuition.